Let's switch gears here. And the coast region has, over the past three years, experienced an infrastructural boost to the tune of, get this, 103 billion shillings. The construction of Dongo Kundu Bypass and the Changamwe Interchange are some of the projects that stand out and are set to transform the region as an economic hub. Mm, our very own Francis Ntolaki takes a look at the infrastructural changes in the coastal counties. The coastal counties have experienced a significant transformation over the last few years. The national government has invested in the region with the hope of opening up the region for trade, investment and tourism. <laughs> Mombasa is slowly adapting to the new look. The ongoing construction of a 2.4-kilometer bridge from Mwache to Mteza, connecting the 8.9-kilometer dual carriageway from Mteza to Kibondani at a combined cost of 24 billion shillings will not only enhance connectivity between Mombasa and Kwale, but open up the new economic hub through the special economic zone. It means somebody coming from Nairobi, you don't have to go through the city of Mombasa. You can just come here and go to the south coast. And that in itself, you reduce the congestion um, of traffic going into Mombasa city. At the East African Gateway, the Makupa Bridge construction is underway at a cost of 4.5 billion shillings. Construction works at Changamu Interchange are almost complete. The two projects are expected to improve traffic flow towards Moi International Airport, the SCR Terminal at Miritini, the movement of goods in and out of the port of Mombasa. Marine ecosystem is said to be restored at the causeway by ensuring reconnection of the creeks, a move that will improve the livelihoods of the fishermen in the area. Kimalizika, itasaidia sana kuondoa hii jamu ambayo inakuwa pa ferry. Tumeona magari zikitumbukia pale ndani watu wakipoteza maisha yao. And to boost tourism and transportation of horticultural and dairy products from farmers, the Kenya Rural Roads Authority, Kera, is tamaking new roads in Undanyi, Tetataveta County and Gaza in Kilifi County at a cost of 2.2 billion and 2.1 billion shillings respectively. Utakuta hata kuleta ambulance. Wakati mwingi ambulance ikija ikichukua mtu kumpeleka Kilifi, ikifika kule lazima uipeleke service. Kwa itakuwa kama ni mviringo, ile tunaita ring road. Ambo unaweza kutoka Mariakani, ukaja fanya biashara zako Bamba, ukafanya biashara zako Ganze, na ukatokea uh, sehemu ya Kilifi na ukaenda Malindi. Part of the infrastructural development is in response to natural calamities that have rocked the region in recent days. In November 2019, two people lost their lives including a 15-year-old child who was buried alive after heavy rains triggered landslides and flash floods. John Mwadime lost his son. Kila kitu kilo ilienda, mumba ilienda, kijono wangu wakaenda, tukenda kumfukua, amelalio na mkuyo, ulianguka, bahati alipitishu wapa kuenda kia ingizo chini ya mkuyo. The new infrastructure is offering a promise of safer days ahead. Viambaza hivi nabu viona, lazima vikatwe, ata nangol, ambayo sasa hakuna kuanguka tena. Pili tumekubaliana lazima ziwe zijengwe, zijengwe, in, uh, zijengwe vizuri, na fikiru wana kama vile SGR, vile wa majenga pali. The way the roads have been done, if you don't do proper walling, if the road is being done here, you don't do proper cutting and proper walling, there will be large slides. And so, this contractor is aware about what needs to be done. Baricho Bridge in Kilifi County is said to be 80% complete. It is said to ease transport and cut the distance between Kilifi, Lamu, and Tana River counties. Francis Mtlaki, Citizen TV, Mombasa.